All right, we're back for choice number three for Stitch Mania 2020. And I'm doing several of these in one day because that way I can get them all uploaded and start kidding my things. So, uh, the last for number two, we chose out of the box. And this time we're going to go back to the shelf and forgive the little paws prancing around. Let's go. Let's Let's see. Now, some of these are still in order. Some of these, I, I put all these in order by designer. So some of them may still be in order. I don't think they're completely jumbled up. So if I choose, like I see right here, I know these are all Omnibooks. Um, so a lot of them are still in order, it looks like. So whatever I choose, I have to choose one. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go here. Ooh, that looks like a Marty Bell. Ugh, do I want to go there? <laughs> do I want to go there? Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do it. Oh, home in my heart. So let's see what we have here. This is so much fun. Okay, We're starting this pile off very well. <laughs> this is Kathy Barrick, home in my heart. I will keep home in my heart wherever I go. Definitely a contender. So we'll put that right there. Let me make this a little wider. Oh, 13 Owls by Plum Street. Yes, 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 yes. Is this, is this, oh shoot. Is this a Halloween piece? <laughs> I love that piece. Uh, but it's Halloween and I said no Halloween. 13 Owls. In a haunted tree, one laughed, who, there she be. So they all joined together and they taunted me. I think that's considered Halloween. Tack on it. Okay. Oh, I was right. I was right. I recognized them. Marty Bell. Mendocino Twilight. Ugh. That's close to full coverage as I would ever get. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Not happening right now. Yep. Yep. Some of these are together. So I have several Thomas Kincaid's. I have several Marty Bell's. Yeah. Okay. Thomas Kincaid, Chandler's Cottage. Gorgeous. All those flowers are French knots. Absolutely gorgeous, but no. No, no, no. Spring at Stonegate. Look at that. Mm -mm. Okay, this is book one, Chandler's Cottage. Um, book two, The Rose Arbor Cottage. Again, all the flowers are French knots. And book three is Spring at Stonegate. So I have all three of those books. Marty Bell Sanctuary. Someday, someday. Not today. The Abbey. I saw somebody stitching this a few months ago. Who is stitching this? Somebody is stitching this. Well, I'm sure somebody's stitching it somewhere, but somebody I watched on Pulse Tube is stitching that, and I cannot remember who. Absolutely beautiful. It's North Coat Lane. Another beautiful one by Marty Bell. I love all of her stuff. I collected a bunch of her patterns back in the day. This is Wishing Well Garden. I don't think Marty used the French knots for the flowers like Thomas Kincaid did. Or, or whoever charted Thomas Kincaid. Um, Leisure Arts. So that's Wishing Well Garden, Summerland. Goodness gracious, how pretty. And we have another Thomas Kincaid Stepping Stone Cottage. So pretty. I love that brook that comes down through there and the pink reflection. So pretty. 
Okay, we have a seasonal sampling by Linda Myers. I love, I'm a big fan of Linda's too. So pretty, all four seasons. And I love the houses and quilt blocks around it. This is another big one, but I do love it. Oh, Annie B's Folk Art, Make Hay While the Sun Shines. Cute. That's a pretty fall piece. I like that one. A little menagerie there. That one's cute. Oh, Dickens Village Sampler. Margaret and Margaret. God bless us, everyone. That's gorgeous, too. That's a big one. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, got four contenders here. All right, I'm working on a Kathy Barrick right now. Good intentions. So that will probably be done by May because it's a, it's a scavenger hunt piece. Hmm. This one, let's see. This one is 152 by 194. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. But it sure is pretty. This is copyright 94. This is one I've had for years and years. And it's like... Oh, that's so pretty. <clears throat> Any bees is a smaller one. I could probably get that done with... Not too much trouble. Oops, 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 oops. I'll edit that out. Um, this is 2017 and it is um, 66 by 97. So that's a smaller one. And then this one, Dickens Village. Let me see. Let's take this one out. It is, let's see, it is gorgeous, gorgeous, that border, um, 175 by 175, it's got some, some backstitch in the buildings, not too much though. Oh my goodness, how hard this is. <laughs> okay. This one's going to wait. That's that's too big. This one, like I said, I'm stitching good intentions and that one's going to wait. So it's between these two. Big one, smaller one. Which one? This would be a good daily thirty. I could I could choose those while I'm going as I'm going too. I'm definitely doing this one as a daily thirty. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. This will be another daily 30. So, it's this one. Margaret and Margaret. Dickens Village Sampler. Yep. I think it's beautiful. Okay. Mania start number three chosen. So, onward we go.
Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.